Remember Pythagoras? The square of the hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yes, him. He claimed not only to quantify or to understand the secret or the code of beauty, he claimed to see it beauty in the universe. That's a pretty big statement. I'm looking for beauty in the face. He says he found it for the, for the universe. That's pretty amazing. What Pythagoras realized is that plants and animals grow according to fairly precise mathematical laws. It's not just chance that flowers unfold in beautiful patterns. And the Greeks found the patterns were based on a particular geometrical ratio. But it wasn't until the Renaissance that an Italian did the maths. He figured out that the key to beauty was the ratio of 1 to 1.618. Grazie. Oh, Miss, Miss Linguini, wait. Take your glasses off. Now let your hair come tumbling down. And yet, and you're not going to believe this, 1.618 actually works. Do something like measure the distance from the floor to your navel, and then from your navel to your head. If you're well proportioned, the ratio should be 1 to 1.618, and that ratio is seen all over the beautiful body. People started noticing it. Artists noticed it. The width of the mouth in a beautiful face, for example. Yeah. Not in any face, but it had to be beautiful. If a face was beautiful, the width of the mouth was exactly 1.618 times the width of the nose. Really? If the face wasn't beautiful, that wasn't the case. Dentists, yeah. in their dental work, noticed that the upper front tooth was 1.618 times as wide as the next, next tooth over, the lateral incisor. Uh -oh. So the central incisor was 1.618 times the width of the lateral incisor, the next tooth over. Wonderful, give me some more examples. Uh, the, your fingers, the, um, the, your fingers are each called phalanges, uh -huh. and each bone in the finger is called a phalanx. And the phalanx that's most, the closest to your knuckle here is 1.618 times the, uh, the phalanx that's in the middle, and that's 1.618 times the length of the phalanx at the end, which is your fingernail. So that was kind of amazing. This number would come up over and over again. 